Hello everyone, I'm Dorothy Patterson and welcome to The Comfort Zone. The last time we met, I spoke about how I had noticed that the participants in my workshop had shifted from the positive to somewhat negative. And um, I wanted to come up with some type of uh, technique in a way to maybe shift them a little bit more into the negative. So the first thing I decided to do with each of the participants is to have them write their own personal affirmation. What is an affirmation? Affirmation is anything we say or think. I asked them to each write a very brief um, a, a, um, affirmation on how they felt about any particular um, thing that is going on in their life, and it must start with I. Okay. So I wrote my personal affirmation and mine is I will not stress over things I cannot control. Okay. This is my number one negative thinking because uh, um, sometimes I worry about things that I have absolutely no control over. So I asked each of the, uh, my participants to dig deep and find an affirmation that they feel that they can connect with. I also asked them to either write it in a journal look at it first thing in the morning, put it on the refrigerator, put it anywhere where they can constantly see it. Then I also wanted to talk to them about the difference because there is positive affirmation, but it's also a toxic positivity. Toxic positivity is when you do not acknowledge your feelings. You pretend that everything is okay because you think that that is um, being positive, but it's not. It is normal to be negative sometimes. It's normal to be sad sometimes. We're living in trying times. We must acknowledge our feelings. Affirmations is just a coping mechanism, something to help us cope whatever it is that we're dealing with. The second thing I ask my participants to do is to not read the news for like two days. I personally did this experiment where I did not watch news, social media for one week. And the outcome of that was I did feel a little less stressed. And that saying that ignorance is bliss is really true. The downside about it is that when I did come back to the real world, I felt out of the loop. I didn't realize how much can happen in just one week without me knowing it. And various things did happen last week that was very important and I had no clue to, to do it. Second, when we enter our workshop each day, we will acknowledge each other with something that we are grateful for. You can say to one of your participants, I'm grateful for A, B, C, and D. And you also should keep a journal where you write in your journal what you're grateful for for each day. There's no easy fix to keep you from thinking negative thoughts because we're living in trying times. So I'm not going to tell you there's some magical cure, but working together and trying just this one little step can make a big difference. Okay, thank you.